hello in this video we will see how we can create a portfolio website under five minutes or ten minutes so let's see how we can do that using canva very easily at first we need to log in our canva account i already logged in on my canva account once i log in the canva account we'll see one button is there create a website we just need to click here and then this type of window will be popped up on the canva website and left side we have an option create a design and there are a couple of designs are there from here we have to choose websites because we are going to create a website using canva just click there and right side you will find different types of websites are there this is called websites and here it is under websites there are a couple of themes are there and if you scroll down you'll find business website business website is also there but our goal was to create a portfolio website to create a portfolio website at first we need to choose one of the theme from here not theme basically one of the category so here we will find website then business website portfolio website event website and so many types of website our goal was to create a portfolio website so basically we have to choose this thing this is portfolio website we can click here or we can type here and then we can type portfolio website and it will give us all the themes but let's see how we can do it easily so once we are website i mean we also choose a design as website then we can easily click this portfolio website and once it is clicked then this type of window will be appeared so by default there will be blank thing there will be nothing but we need to choose on portfolio website so what we need to do at first we need to choose a th theme or template so here on the left side under design we'll find template layouts and style layout means what type of layouts you are looking for so there are different types of layouts i'm not going to choose those things i will show you some other video then there is a styles also this is the color theme okay so color palette or combination something like that but let's do it very quickly so i'm going to click template and here we'll see under this template different types of themes are there but once you do this thing you will see nothing is there but here we are seeing that portfolio website is there we just need to click here to filter all the portfolio website here we are seeing many websites are there these all the portfolio website if we want to choose one of them then we just need to click here and if we scroll down a little bit we will find lots of things from here you have to choose the theme or template you are interested for example for my case i want to choose this one so once i choose this thing i'm going to click here and then it will bring us this type of window here it is asking apply all seven pages basically this theme has seven pages one two three four five six seven and this is the preview of that website and under there there is also theme style is there and so many things are there so if you don't like this theme and you can go back by pressing this back button i'm going to click here to go to the back button and from here you can choose any number of uh, theme to check the preview so let's see we can choose this one so i'm going to click here and then here for this theme there is six pages and all the pages are like this and it is nice looking it's not bad so let's see uh, we can use this theme or template to create our first website which is the portfolio website at first we need to click this button apply all six pages because it will help us to complete our website as soon as possible so i'm going to click here apply all pages and here it will bring all the pages over there like one page two page three page four page five page and six page okay now once this page is there page is there then now it's time to modify each of the page now you can choose the image and also you can modify the text like for example for my case i can choose the uh, website like portfolio website like few steps something like like this i make creative uh, uh, i can change it because i am uh, working with a youtube channel so i can mention like this i make creative youtube assistant for example uh, something like that hi everyone my name is fear steps i am a creative youtube assistant and then we can change the logo or picture suppose we want to change, update the picture so i can go to the element and then from here we can choose like few steps something like that 
there is nothing but still i am typing uh, to add some logo something like that so for example i want to use this this one so here it will bring like this now we have to minimize or resize something like that okay so i'm going to increase the size uh, this one and it is going to the set the uh, middle point of this square so now uh, it looks nice right so now if we want to scroll down we can also modify each of the text each of them or uh, each of the header or type so for that case we can click the text if you want to add new text we can also add new text i'm not going to show you those things those are like microsoft Word type of thing you can click or you can select the text and you can modify the text suppose we want to modify this text as other font like from here we can choose the font and from here by default it is has it has this thing if you want to change other font like this one we can click here and the font will be changed if you want to change the color of this font we can also select the text and from here we can choose the color like for example we want to choose the color like dark green okay so this is the color we chose and if you want more darker green so right now uh, uh, right now it looks like this if you want more darker then we can add the more color so this will be more darker see here it is darker so in this way we can do whatever we want and if we don't want any page or if we think that one page is not uh, this page is not required or something not required then we can also do like for example uh, we can remove this space so we need to select this space and then here you will see this is selected like this way and left side you will find some icons are there from here we can choose like delete pages page basically it will delete that page if you want to uh, revert back we can press the control z button so it will be back again that means the redo so in this way we can actually add more pages also if you want to add more pages we have to select it here and then after that we have to choose add page and here a blank new add page will be there for example here you want to showcase your portfolio uh, like youtube videos couple of youtube videos then you can also choose element then videos so for example here this is on video i can press it like this i can click it uh, to insert that video same way you can also insert your videos i mean your channel video something like that so that's it so i'm not going to uh, add this thing i'm going to select it and remove it i'm also going to remove this page also by selecting this page and then i'm going to press this delete page and that page will be deleted now if we go down uh, here basically uh, if you want to modify this image we can also do or even we can also insert some other images like here here we are seeing three images if you want to add another image like uh, my goal for example so here basically we can actually insert this image and also in, we can resize like this something like that okay so it will be inserted now if we want to add our website uh, email address i mean not website email my uh, email address uh, so that people can communicate we can also add here like here we can type few we have to double click and then we have to choose it and then delete it it's not selecting again i am going to delete this thing i'm not sure why it is not deleting okay now it's deleting now we can add the email address like few steps then dot email at gmail.com okay then if you press if you click anywhere then we'll see that the email address has been added so that's it in this way we can actually create a website now this is a single page website uh by right now uh using canva you can create this type of single website now it's time to publish this thing so let's see how we can see the preview so i'm going to click the preview and here it is showing how it looks and it has a little animation we are seeing that hi everyone my name is ps steps and something like that if we scroll down a little bit then we can also see a quick background uh, these all are the things which we have in this website which we just uh, developed and here also i see this image is also added right so and also this email is also 
uh, is there if we want to see the uh, mobile version of this website we can also click uh, this thing there are two versions on this desktop version and this mobile version if we click the mobile icon we'll see the mobile version of this uh, website and it looks very nice right and uh, it's almost professional i can say Let's see here it looks so nice right using this thing we can also uh, check the preview of this website now once it is done then what we can say we can close it and we can publish it to publish this website uh, in online what we can do we can click publish website and here it will bring this type of thing okay so here it is showing publish website it says for mobile website url so this is the uh, url but uh, right now it has this url okay so it's like subdomain thing but if you uh, if you have your own website uh, domain basically you can also do this thing to mod modify this url we can click here edit and then we can uh, type a name like hello fast portfolio so here i just typed hello fast portfolio and then here there is another one publish settings if we click here then it has the website description you can add it and also you can add advanced settings like password protect, uh, protection is disabled and so many settings i'm not going to uh, change those things so i'm going to uh, click this publish website this button and once it is published then we can access that website directly from here so here it is showing preparing that website and there is a button view website here we are seeing this is the website url we can copy it and if we can uh, open a new tab and if we paste the uh, link of the website and where we will see that this website is live so right now this is live right so in this way we can actually make this website and also create a live website like this way and here also we can click this button like this and it will go to the same url that is the website so that's it in this way we can easily create a portfolio website and then we can close it and here uh, once it is everything is done then we can also edit the design if we want or based on our own choice we can also do so so inside this publish website uh, we, we also have some other settings uh, which you can add basically uh, this uh, this thing actually you can add for SEO purpose like website description advanced settings something like that and if you don't want to publish uh, this website anymore we can press this button unpublish website and here it is giving us warning that the website will be unpublished i'm going to click unpublish website because i don't want to publish this website so i just unpublish that website and now we are in the default page and that's it guys in this way using canva we can create a portfolio website within few minutes and then we can modify everything even the logo or text we can also add new e images everything we can do using canva that's it guys hopefully this video will be helpful for you uh, to create a website which will be free using canva and is very easy and straightforward thank you guys for watching the video